Oh. Welcome back to Sage Day. So we start session five and we will start by the award ceremony. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about the Sage Prize. Uh, we formed a committee and um, have a new prize, which we'll talk about here. Some of the prize winners aren't present, but um, we very much hope they'll watch this video. Okay, so the original annual Spice Sage Math Development Prize is a prize given to uh, one person um, who made some major and inspiring contributions to the development of Sage. Typically, a lot of code in the Core Sage library, or um, a lot of work just as a release manager, getting the the um, just the uh, new releases of Sage together. For example, uh, Michael Abshoff won the first Sage Development Prize entirely for a massive amount of work as release manager. Um, it was five hundred dollars and it was founded or funded by Jaap Spies, who is a retired Dutch mathematician. Uh, we didn't have a prize from 2015 until now, so we missed many, many prizes. Um, so it was suggested to retroactively have a prize for each of the missing years. And in order to do so, a committee was formed and we ended up discussing at length what the prize might mean, what it could be going forward, uh, how we should choose winners, should we you know, choose exactly one winner for their contributions during each previous year or something else entirely. So we've um, come up with an idea for a new Sage Math Prize. It's funded by donations to the Sage Open Collective account. And um, the plan is that at least two prizes will be awarded each year to acknowledge and encourage uh, these things. So contributions to the Sage code base and the third party ecosystem. So maybe somebody creates a third party package that depends on Sage that is really a positive contribution to the community in a big way that could win uh, the prize, even though it doesn't involve code going into the core Sage library. Um, another thing is just, uh, you know, really inspiring work spreading the use of Sage via workshops and other mechanisms. So uh, somebody that organizes a whirlwind collection of Sage days in various places would be very, very much something we want to encourage with this prize. Um, general maintenance of infrastructure, which is enormously critical to this project. For example, keeping track going, keeping the Sage website going, um, hosting ask.sagemath.org, keeping that running. These sorts of activities are absolutely critical and well worth um, winning this sort of prize for and the same going forward. Um, and finally, organization and funding of Sage development. So people that you know do lots of work to sort of get us all on the same page, sort of set direction, et cetera. Um, a good example is Matthias, you know, sketching out at great length yesterday, his um, strategy for modularizing the Sage library. Um, and also, you know, work, which can be enormous to fund Sage development. Um, like the Open Dream Kit grant is a great example of um, an enormously difficult uh, amount of work by a lot of people, especially Nicholas, um, which resulted indirectly and directly into funding of SAGE. So any activity like that is very much something we want to support. Um, the prize committee this year was Eric Guglon, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, um, John Cremona, me, Samuel Lelever, and Carl Dieter Christman. And uh, everyone volunteered except Carl Dieter, who I volunteered, because he had a lot of really good ideas. Um, note that nobody on the committee this year was a past winner of the prize. Uh, but we will be in the great situation going forward next year that at least, um, I guess, 17 people will have won the prize. And so there's a nice group of people to draw from in making a prize committee for next year that includes or even is entirely um, made up of past prize winners. That would be ideal. Um, so we've named 10 winners for their contributions from 2015 until now. Uh, we could have named more, but it seemed like a bit much given that we want to have two per year. So there's like an average of 1.5 per year or so. Um, and each of the winners will of course receive the most valuable thing, which is our congratulations and thanks being singled out as a winner, but also $300 in money. Um, the exact way in which the $300 will be awarded from the Open Collective will be determined by 
some of the winners who actually know what's going on with the open collective donations. Yeah. All right, so uh, John Cremona and I are going to go through the 10 prize winners and um, explain a little bit about why each of them won the prize. We're uh, listing them in alphabetical order by their last name, like you do in a math paper. And John will start with the first winner. That's great. OK. So I'm uh, delighted to start off the list with um, Madison Bray, who has done an enormous amount for, K for SAGE over the years. Um, not so much in the last two or three years, but that doesn't matter. One of the points of what we're doing here, I think, is to encourage people to uh, continue with their work on SAGE. This isn't just to recognize work that's been done in the past. It's to encourage people to work in the future as well. Um, so um, Madison wins the prize for, as it says, numerous developments, both in the SAGE code base and uh, in particular, porting SAGE to Microsoft Windows. Um, which I think now just works, and it never used to work. She's also improved the documentation of SAGE and organized uh, a number of SAGE days. So um, thank you to Madison. I don't know if Madison is here. I can't see all the names. But, um. <laughs> but he'll be watching this video at some point in the near future. Video. So. <laughs> So, um, William, are we going to applaud each one of the 10 or wait till the Let's end? Let's just do it. Okay. Good job, Madi uh, Madison. Over to you, William. Okay, the next one is uh, Frederick Chapatan, and he wins the prize for an incredible amount, I mean, absolutely incredible amount of development work on the CoreSage library, uh, especially getting us from Python 2 to Python 3, which is just a thankless and uh, tedious task involving lots and lots of improvements. He does a really excellent job, I've been told, at reviewing track tickets, commenting on tickets, et cetera, and just generally improving the quality of Sage overall and supporting other infrastructure. So everyone, let's thank Frederick for his contributions. Okay, now I've, I've, I've had a notification in the chat that people were finding it hard to hear me, so. Mm -hmm. Is that still true? Or can you now hear me, Matthias? <laughs> Good. Well, it's very Much important now. that Matthias hears me now because the next prize winner is Matthias. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Matthias wins the prize for his incredible consistent contributions to the Corsairs library and in particular the modularization effort. So as it, as it says here, this has the potential to massively extend the sustainability and broad impact of the Sage, Sage Python code base. So um, any of you who heard either of Matthias's presentations yesterday, um, as I did, were absolutely amazed by the amount of work that has already gone in and is still continuing in improving this. So thank you very much, Matthias. May you, may you continue for a long time. <laughs> Okay, the next one here is Thierry Monte, uh, who's done an absolutely extraordinary amount of work supporting users using Sage. And he deploys and maintains the thriving ask.sagemath.org server, where he's answered thousands and thousands of questions. Um, he's also, over the years, done amazing work spreading the use of Sage worldwide. Um, for example, via the Sage Debian Live USB key project, and which was a which is really useful in uh, places with bad network connections and maybe not as important today, but played a huge role in the past. And he's um, been a strong participant and organizer of many Sage Days workshops over the years. So thank you very much, Terry. So the next prize winner is Andre Novoselsev, and he's um, winning the prize for his uh, development of the Sage cell server and its long-term maintenance and support. The Sage cell server is the most Im immediately accessible way to run Sage. Um, so uh, for example, you can use this to embed little Sage cells into um, web pages and other online documents such as uh, Carl Dieter Kussmann's number theory textbook. Um, Andre has also uh, made many contributions to Utmost and Pretext 
but I must confess I don't know what either of those are. I'm told that she's done a lot for them. So for that, let's thank Andre. <laughs> The next winner is Dima Pasechnik, who's long been involved in Sage development. And he wins the prize for just overall contributions, including care of orphaned packages, um, thoughtful discussion of important issues in the mailing list. So he's, you know, very often pops up in Sage development and thinks really hard about what's going on. And, you know, you might always, always agree with what he says, but he um, thinks deeply about it and shares his ideas and it's really valuable and appreciated. Um, he's made long-term contributions to the code, you know, supporting users, always gets involved in Google Summer of Code and um, has helped with the uh, donations. So thank you very much, Dima, for everything you're doing for Sage. Um, our next winner is uh, Vivian Pons, and um, we've awarded her the prize for her work in community building and training and Sage Days organization. Vivian has organized at least two Women in Sage Days specifically and has been involved in a lot of uh, outreach, outreach activities. She's contributed to the documentation and publicity of, uh, concerning Sage through the Open Dream Kit project. She was the team leader of the Paris team for Open Dream Kit. And she's also made core contributions to the Sage code base and related packages, I think through the um, Sage Combinat uh, route, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you very much to Vivian. Our next prize winner is here, um, who's Harold Chile, And uh, he wins the prize for uh, very consistent and important foundational contributions to the Sage project since 2007. For example, he took the really crappy initial Sage website, which was a really dumb copy of the Apple website that I made and made a much, much more useful and functional website for a project um, with a lot more awareness about search engine optimization and you know, general layout and maintainability. Um, and one thing is if you search for mass software on Google, you'll find that Sage is in the first page and it sort of maintained that. And that's be partly because of a good website. Um, he's done work on the Sage documentation hosting so for example, you try to Google Sage documentation, it comes up all wrong, and you figure out exactly how to fix that, even though it took weeks and weeks for the changes to actually get noticed by Google. And he administered Sage's Google Summer of Code involvement for about a decade. So that means you know pushing everybody to get things done by the deadline, putting the application in, and you know dealing with all the little things along the way, which is a lot of work. And um, he also maintains the distribution of Sage that's in CodeCalc, which is an and, uh, or actually a whole bunch of distributions of Sage in CodeCalc, which is useful for people. So thank you very much, Harold. Uh, we're ninth in the list of our uh, prize winners is Travis Scrimshaw, and we've awarded him the prize for major contributions to the core library of Sage and his excellent review of track tickets um, there can't be many people who put code up on a track ticket who haven't had that code read and commented on by Travis. I certainly have. Um, and also for his major and long-term contributions, again, to Sage's participation in Google Summer of Code. Thank you very much to Travis. And the uh, final winner is Nicholas Thierry, who's had a massive impact on the development of Sage uh, over at least the last decade by leading the Sage Common App Group. So Mike Hansen, one of the previous winners, decided to port Sage Common App, or actually, I don't know, something else Common App to Sage and spent a couple of, like a year or two doing that. And Nicholas saw how amazing that was and really got the whole group of developers to port the rest of the project. And then it's grown a huge amount since that. Then along the way, he just revamped the whole, like, internal structure of Sage by adding a categories framework to the code base, which really, really has a big impact on organizing things and was a you know, difficult and painful project to push through. And then he um, was the leader of the Open Dream Kit grant, which you know, is the biggest single grant that has impacted Sage development in terms of funding. And um, you know, we all greatly appreciated what that did. And so I think he's really the driving force behind making Sage the world's best software for algebraic combinatorics. So thank you very much, uh, Nicholas.
so that um, that's everyone. So thanks to all the prize winners. I don't know if there's questions. <laughs> um, maybe if there's any questions about what the price should be or thoughts about the price should be going forward. Um, but otherwise, I think that's everything we wanted to present.